Hey folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we'll be doing a head-to-head -head specification comparison between the all-new Apple iPhone 6S versus probably one of the most popular Android smartphones out there, the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, in this video, we're going to be specifically concentrating on the core specification differences between the two in terms of camera specs, screen size, all those great things. We're going to obviously have full-on hands-on comparison once the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus becomes available to us but basically this video is for all you guys out there that just want to know the core essential differences between the two so without any further ado let's get right into this comparison now physically, the new iPhone 6S is going to be very similar to the previous generation iPhone 6 in terms of the footprint. So it's going to be smaller than the Samsung Galaxy S6 when it comes to the width and height of the phone. And in terms of thickness, the uh, S6 is going to be just slightly thinner at around 6.8 millimeters versus about 7.1 millimeters on the iPhone 6S. Now in terms of weight, there's not going to be a massive difference between the two. Basically, the Samsung Galaxy S6 is slightly lighter, measuring about 138 grams versus about 143 grams but in terms of the build quality i think both are going to be really exceptionally made the new iphone has actually been upgraded to 7000 series aluminum so the rigidity factor should definitely go up uh, we had no problems in terms of build quality and overall build materials with the samsung galaxy s6 so both are going to be quite fantastic in terms of how they feel on your hand furthermore when it comes to the glass technology the new iphones have been a double reinforced and ion strengthened so we should find our improvement in terms of how scratch proof they are and how shatterproof they are but again we'll see uh, on how durable the new iPhones are when we actually do our, our own durability tests on them but in terms of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 is using Corning Gorilla Glass uh, 4 technology so fairly scratch resistant and uh, shatterproof to some extent as well. Now moving on to talk about the displays uh, we're basically looking at a very similar display on the new 6S compared to the previous generation iPhone 6 so you're looking at a 4. 7 inch display versus a 5.1 inch display on the Samsung. Uh, in terms of the actual resolution, the Samsung wins, uh, has a quad HD uh, display, so you're looking at a PPI count of about 577 versus 326 PPI on the new iPhone 6S. So not a big improvement in terms of the display when it comes to the iPhone side. But the new iPhone does have a little trick up its sleeve, and that's regarding the 3D touch technology. It basically integrates the force capacitive touch display that we saw on the Apple Watch. Additionally, it's very similar technology that we uh, encountered on the new Force Touch trackpads on the new MacBooks this year. So the really cool thing about uh, this is that it's going to enable second click functionality on a capacitive touch display. So if you force click on a certain item based on a certain application, you're going to enable a feature that you would typically not have access to on a traditional capacitive touch screen. So that's definitely a interesting feature that Apple is really hyping up that may or may not be an actual useful feature that people want to use in the real world but it's certainly a feature that no other smartphone boasts are currently right now. Now in terms of the internal capabilities we have the new Apple A9 a dual core processor that's clocked around 2 gigahertz and it's definitely going to be very very powerful both when it comes to the uh, multi-threaded application and especially single threaded applications. Now the Samsung Galaxy S6 is using an Exynos 7420 chip which is the same chip that we encountered on the Note 5, so it's comprised of two quad core processors clocking around 1.5 gigahertz and 2.1 gigahertz, and we have three gigabytes of RAM, which should be plenty for most of your multitasking needs out there. Now, when it comes to the internal memory capacity, you have 16, 64, and 128 gigabyte models on the new iPhone 6S, and we have 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte versions on the Samsung Galaxy S6. And unfortunately, both uh, smartphones don't have the option for user expandable memory memory so you're pretty much stuck in terms of how much you can actually put into your phone based on the model you've chosen originally. Now moving forward, let's talk about the cameras on uh, both of the two smartphones. Now, we have a big improvement on the new iPhone. You have 5 megapixel stills capabilities in terms of the front-facing camera, as well as 1080p video. Uh, same kind of uh, specifications we see on the Samsung Galaxy S6, with the exception that it can do 1440p at 30 frames per second in terms of video, but we still have uh, 5 megapixel stills, uh, generally speaking. So very similar front-facing capabilities. We're going to see how they actually uh, look in real life. In terms of the rear-facing 
processing camera, we have uh, 12 megapixel stills and 16 megapixel stills on uh, the Samsung Galaxy S6. So a great improvement on the new iPhone. We also have 4K video capturing capabilities on both of these two smartphones. Uh, and uh, the big thing that the iPhone still carry over is uh, the 720p 240 frames per second slow motion capabilities, which uh, still at this point, the Samsung Galaxy S6 does not match with 120 frames per second in terms of slow motion. Now, one nice thing about the Galaxy S6 is that we do have optical stabilization. That's a feature that is only available on the iPhone 6S Plus, so not included in the 6S, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, of course, specifications are specifications. We really need to have both smartphones on hand to do a side-by-side head-to-head camera comparison to determine which camera actually comes out on top. So definitely look forward to that video coming out very, very soon. Now, in terms of the connectivity and battery options, uh, thankfully, both of these smartphones are going to have 802.11 and an AC capabilities. So the latest Wi-Fi technology, which is great, both are going to have a Bluetooth 4.1 connectivity and uh, you are going to have NFC capabilities on the iPhone, but strictly related to Apple Pay services versus the Samsung is going to have universal NFC capabilities. In terms of the actual physical connectivity of the lightning uh, connection on the iPhone for all your data and charging needs and you have a micro usb 2.0 connection on the samsung galaxy s6 now in terms of the battery performance basically there is a difference in terms of the physical capacity you're looking at 18 10 milliamp hour battery on the iphone 6s versus a 25 50 milliamp hour battery on the samsung galaxy s6 now back a couple of months ago when the samsung galaxy s6 first came out we did a head-to-head -head dedicated battery test comparison between the previous generation iphone 6 and the GS6 to see which one would come out on top in terms of battery performance. And our results showed that clearly the Samsung was the winner in terms of that battery performance test. And if the new uh, iPhone 6S is similar in terms of battery performance compared to the previous model iPhone, you're probably going to have the same result there. But again, we're going to do a physical head-to-head uh, -head battery test comparison to see whether we can determine which one is going to be better. But my hypothesis is, is the Samsung Galaxy S6 is going to have the better battery life. Now another feature that the new iPhone still lacks is uh, the capability to do wireless and fast charging capabilities. That's something that the uh, GS6 uh, boasts uh, and it does quite well and I wish it was in the iPhone but sadly not at this point. But other than that guys that's really it. I'm really excited to see how the new iPhone 6s uh, stacks up against the Samsung Galaxy S6 which is probably one of my favorite Android smartphones right now. There's a lot of other great uh, smartphones out the market and certainly it's a very competitive and crowded space at the moment with all these uh, crazy new specifications and numbers going around but I'm really uh, interested in seeing how uh, the new 6s is going to really compare especially when it comes to the internal performance and the camera quality the display is certainly not going to beat what Samsung is offering right now but it's really going to be interesting to see on how the new iPhone 6s is going to stack up against all of these smartphones that are available right now and uh, definitely stay tuned for our channel for all of those latest hands-on comparison. But other than that, thank you again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.